learning focus. In gravity, we will discuss the gravitational field, free falling, lift, and pulling. Under gravitational field, we will discuss what is gravitational field, gravitational field strength, gravitational acceleration, and weight. In free falling, we will discuss dropping object from a high place and launching object upward. We will also discuss the graph of motions of these two cases. Under lift, we will discuss the apparent weight of an object inside a lift when the lift moving up or down. In pulley, we will discuss pulley with one load. Let's start with the gravitational field in the very next slide. We have learned that gravitational field strength at a point in the gravitational field is the gravitational force acting on a mass of 1 kg placed at that point. In the equation, we write this as g equal to f over m, where g is the gravitational field strength, f is the gravitational force acting on an object, and m is the mass of the object. For example, if there is an object of mass 2 kg placed at a point A near the Earth and the gravitational force exerted on the object is 10 newton, the gravitational field strength will be 10 over 2 kg, 10 newton over 2 kg, uh, which is equal to 5 newton per kg. Gravitational field strength versus gravitational acceleration. One thing that you need to know in SBM physics is the difference between the gravitational field strength and the gravitational acceleration. Both the gravitational field strength and gravitational accelerations have the symbol g and the same value, which is 10 meters per second per second on the surface of the Earth. However, when considering a body falling freely in the gravitational field, the g is referring to the gravitational acceleration. If the object is not moving, the g is referring to the gravitational field strength. Differences between weight and mass. Another important thing that you need to know in SBM is the difference between mass and weight. Mass is defined as the quantities of matter, whereas weight is the gravitational force acting on an object. Mass is independent of the gravitational field strength, which means it is not affected by the gravitational field strength. For example, if you put an object on the surface of the Earth or on the surface of the Moon, the mass will be the same. In opposite, the weight depends on the gravitational field strength. It will be affected by the gravitational field strength. Mass is a base quantity and also the scalar quantity. Weight is actually gravitational force. A force is a derived quantity and also a vector quantity. It has magnitude and directions. The unit of mass is kilogram and the unit of weight is newton because weight is actually a force.